Hello and welcome to Compulsive DIY. In this video I'm going to show you how I finish aluminum parts using this vibratory tumbler. Uh, this is an 18 pound tumbler by Ultra Vibe, uh, but there are many uh, models similar to this one uh, which are widely sold. Uh, vibratory tumbling is used in metal parts industry and um, metal finishing industry for uh, surface finishing but lately there has been uh, more and more tumblers in the hands of hobbyists in part because they're being uh, marketed to hobbyists for uh, rust removal using this uh, green uh, plastic media this media however is used in the industry for aluminum finishing i have uh, a video up about my experience with uh, de-rusting hardware uh, using this process with this media and that's why it looks uh, a little dirty here and not as uh, bright green uh, because I used it on rust the results were mediocre however on aluminum the results are um, spectacular and very satisfactory it's ready to paint or um, anodize uh, after it uh, goes through the tumbler so these are uh, green pyramids and they get uh, very little wear and they're uh, quite uh, reusable uh, after this wet tumbling process. So many, many parts uh, can be uh, finished with the same media. So as I've learned more about vibratory tumbling, I found out that this green plastic media uh, is actually used in finishing of aluminum parts. Uh, one uh, media guide that I read specifically recommends this for deburring and finishing of uh, 6061 aluminum parts. Um, as it happens, uh, I have uh, some aluminum brackets that I made uh, recently for an unrelated project. And these aluminum brackets actually don't need to be finished. Um, uh, but um, I thought this was an opportunity to try uh, the tumbler for a process for which um, uh, the process was actually invented and, and um, to try the same process which they use in industry. So uh, this was made out of an old piece of aluminum angle. It's got scratches all over. Um, much of the fabrication of this was done with a belt sander. I'm not sure this um, uh, camera can pick it up, but there are marks here from 120 uh, grid belt. I also have some of these uh, cutoff pieces. Um, these were actually used as uh, spacers during the woodworking project. Um, they were made uh, with an even coarser uh, belt sander belt and the burrs are uh, I deburred it a little bit with a file to make it usable, but uh, the birds are still here. Burrs, rather, are still here. And certainly, uh, I left all of the burrs here because I knew I would be tumbling it. Um, so, um, while the tumbler machine is uh, certainly not perfect for uh, treatment of rusty hardware, especially uh, with the green plastic media, uh, it'd be interesting to see how uh, this tumbler, which was intended for actually rock tumbling, this, uh, this company seems to cater to rock tumblers more than um, metal fabricators, that's for sure. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how well this machine does with um, green media and this aluminum and how good of a result we get. So let's give it a go. I last tumbled um, bol rusty bolts here using ceramic media. Um, since removed and washed the ceramic media and washed out the bowl as um, well as I could. Uh, so first step is to put the green plastic media in. So what it looks like when the tumbler is running.
And when dry media tumbles like this, the, the process is noisy. And uh, it's interesting uh, that various liquid additives are used uh, uh, during tumbling uh, processing of parts. And the first thing you notice when you put the liquid in is how much quieter the process gets. Uh, so here I have a few ounces of water uh, in this measuring cup. There is six ounces of water here. Uh, so here is the sound without and then with water. So very quickly water makes this um, a lot quieter. Um, and liquid additives to the tumbling media in the metal finishing industry have um, many purposes. It's lubrication, it's um, carrying away the chips that, uh, that are cut by the abrasive. Um, there are rust inhibiting ingredients uh, which are used with steel. It's actually surprisingly complicated science. Um, and always, always soap is used, and I understand that um, it's mostly used as a lubricant. So uh, this is Dawn dishwashing detergent, and uh, just added a few drops, probably too many already. Um, so let's start the machine and uh, add the parts. running the machine open here mostly to see how much foam I was going to get even though I thought I was adding just a couple of drip um, drops of uh, dishwashing soap I probably already added too much and uh, uh, excessive foam is actually a hindrance to the tumbling process as I learned and uh, in the metal finishing industry they use defoaming agents uh, but uh, right now foam looks not too bad um, it doesn't look like uh, the contents will ever spill, and uh, however, uh, tumblers do have lids. Uh, the biggest function of the lid uh, seems to be noise control, at least with this uh, uh, wet plastic media in there. You can see that um, it's not going to fly out of there. So. Uh, I'll start it again. Um, I will let it, um, let it run for a few hours and then we'll come back and we'll look at our aluminum parts again.
the aluminum parts have been there with the green plastic media for four and a half hours now. I must be honest, I peaked in the middle of the process, but I didn't interrupt it for too long. We'll take the lid off. Uh, there's not too much water. If anything, there seems to be like there's a little water left. Not quite sure where it went. Um, I brought a bucket for rinsing parts because I had a feeling they would be kind of dirty. They're covered with this soapy slime. We'll rinse it off. And so, it looks quite fantastic. So this is what the green plastic media is for. Uh, I can wash them. By the way, the media also cleaned up. It got all dirty and lost its green color while rubbing on uh, rusty steel bolts. But now it's back to this uh, light green color. But... Uh, the parts I deburred, uh, this bracket in particular, I left all of the burrs from the bell sender in these radii here. Uh, there is a, pre a pretty attractive matte finish. Uh, there are still some imperfections because this was beaten up parts. Of course, these were spacers for a woodworking installation. But uh, looks quite good. The only area it didn't do is right in the corner down there. But we know that these pyramids could never get in there. Uh, they would be, yeah, only in one orientation. So it'd be a very occasional contact. Uh, these brackets were very rough. Um, and I still see belt sander marks along here, but um, they've been smoothed out. Um, but this was a 36 grid belt, so these were very rough marks. So, indeed, the industry uses um, these green plastic pyramids for aluminum usually 60, 61 aluminum parts, uh, and it works beautifully for it. So in these green pyramids, they, they experience very little wear, and they still look like new. Uh, so it looks like I have enough of them to be able to uh, finish my aluminum parts um, uh, for quite a long time, because, because the pyramids are completely preserved. I wonder if this is the kind of prep that's needed to anodize aluminum. I'll have to look it up. Uh, but uh, since I already have a zinc plating set up, getting into anodizing may not be that difficult. Thanks for watching.